Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Welcome to Paradise. Check it out. I got a new zombie head. I decided to do a little bit of kind of just scavenging around. Check this out. It's a zombie head helmet I found in a chest somewhere. And I did make myself some forest armor because it's not real hard to do that if you have the supplies. Go under crafting. Boom. It's here. It just takes like some leaves, rope, sticks, and scrap which you can find everywhere. So I made a full set of zombie armor, or er, some forest armor. So maybe, just maybe I can, you know, take a little hit without getting hurt as much. And I switched over to my common air rifle instead of the pistol. Zombie dude's still over here just absolutely rocking it and picking up all the wood he can find. Something I realized that's kind of cool about where I live is that there's this broken pneumatic tube thingy that shows up on the map. It's called a destroyed stork. Not that. Broken mega hoop. Every once in a while I come up here and there's just a slew of supplies sitting on the ground for no reason. There's tires and scrap and all kinds of stuff. Also, I remapped my pickup stuff button to my mouse button so I can actually click on it while I'm running around and have to keep move, taking my finger off to hit E. And I couldn't place a fence here last time, but it doesn't matter because it fits anyway. One of the things I like most about living up here near this broken, dilapidated store is that it plays the theme song from this game every now and then that, you know, Welcome to Paradise. And I don't know why, just the way that the tune sounds, it reminds me of some 90s cartoons like... Um, Rocco's Modern Life, like, Rocco's Modern Life. How many people remember that cool cartoon? Okay, so besides that, I haven't leveled up, but I did repair this bridge right up here and right here, and then I walked around over to here. This is basically all I did is I went over here, checked this out, explored this little area, and then went back home. So there's some other areas we haven't quite been to yet that we need to before we try and go back over into this area where we are not strong enough to do this. This whole forest entrance here, this is right on par with the level that we should be at. So what I want to do is I'm going to teleport down here and then see if we can't go this way and do some exploring and open up some other areas. We also have, I don't know, what is this? I just I noticed an entry point. Okay, don't know what that is. Anyway, so since we are definitely not strong enough to be heading towards the uh, desert area to try and go get this rocket that it wants us to get, we're going to do some exploring, see if we can't open up some more of the map. So, as always, thank you guys so much for all the support on this series so far. I'm having a blast with it. I definitely want to keep it going as long as possible. So, you know, if you enjoy it, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel and you're not already, maybe consider subscribing. That way you, you know, get notified when new videos go live, of course. And then, of course, you can leave me some comments if you want to. So, yeah, we are back to the Paradise entrance. So, these zombies are all fairly easy to deal with at this point here. You go get this one right Go get this one right there. I'll go get this one. So now I can walk around and pick up all of this crap laying on the ground without having to keep taking my finger off the button. And that's just lovely. You see, all these zombies I can just hack and slash here. And then, of course, the ones that have the uh, broken thingy on the their headset, I can just whoop them because they just kind of stand there malfunctioning. I love having this giant tennis ball colored zombie head as my armor, too. It's just pretty fabulous. And, uh, yeah, these zombies are weak as wet toilet paper, so I can kind of just run around and beat them all up with it. Here, you go get this one while I'm picking up some stuff here. I need to get all the supplies that we can. Good job. Did you get them? Good job. Okay, we're going to go... I think we need to go this way. Yeah, I have no idea what's up in this area. Um, there's a whole lot of this map that we haven't discovered yet. So we want to definitely want to go get that. One of the things that I did get, you remember from, I think the last video it was, there was the zombies that have the propellers attached to their butts, and they fly around and attack you. I finally picked up enough of those where I can equip one with my zombie if I wanted to. Uh, let me see, which one is it? Zombots. See, I can give him the old butt booster. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what happens. So he can fly around and go attack zombies now. So he's got a propeller on his butt, and he can fly around like a little prop plane and just <laughs> go after all the zombies. It's kind of a straight line flight, so he's not just like devastating all these zombies, but he can do a decent job with it. So, well, there he goes. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. You seem kind of lost too. That's just fantastic. Do you like, do you like zipping around here? You're, you're doing a great job. And I appreciate you bringing me the stuff that I miss. Looks like we got a couple more. You go get those. That's just lovely. Look at that. It goes in a straight line like a, a suicide bomber, basically, and kills everything in his path. I love it. All right, I want to make sure. Okay, we got this. This is a little hunting area. I'm guessing hunting area 
every time I see that on a map, I'm thinking, oh, this is where we could get some deer, we could get some goosesses, we could get some um, antelope or gazelles or whatever it is they had us kill over in the desert. But I think by hunting area, it means, hey, by the way, this is where you can go. The zombies are going to keep showing up because it's kind of what it seems like. Um, this isn't one of those games I've found that once you kill the zombies in area, they stay dead. They, uh, they seem to just respawn. I don't know where they're coming from. If the storyline is having them just pop out of the ground, I have no idea necessarily. But, you know, I, on, one on one instance, if it did remove all the zombies every time that you killed a whole area, I mean, it wouldn't be very long. You would have nothing left to kill. Gate off everything, kill all the zombies, and you'd be done. And, of course, I ran right into this little area. Swing and a miss. Also, I did increase the size of my cursor so I can see a little bit better because sometimes the screen gets really bright and having a uh, white cursor makes it a little bit hard to see which direction you're aiming. Which one of you knocked me down? Was it my zombie? You, I think you missed. I'm pretty sure you just missed entirely. <laughs> I can. I don't know why. Call me crazy, but I can see him just zipping off a cliff somewhere and then disappearing. All right, I need you to fire it up. Here, you go get that one right there. All right, you can go get that one over there. I'll be over here if you need me. Did you get anything? Did you find anybody? There, you get him. Also gave him a bat, too, because every time I try and shoot him, he would run over to where the zombies was, stand right next to him, and then try and shoot him from point blank range and just miss a whole bunch. I kept hoping he would be like a, you know, have some good ranged attack or something, and he could do some snappy snaps for me, but... That is not the case, not even a little bit. Uh-oh. Lost the cursor again. Here, you go get that one. I'll get this one. There we go. See, team, where, where are you going? <laughs> There's a small flaw in this little thing we got going on here. All right, so this is where Bob's was the first time. This is where we learned something. Can we learn anything else from this? Bob's archives be Emotional support zombie. Three. The emotional support. Okay, we've already done that one. It's just still got the little icon there. Even though we've already read them. The emotional support zombie is the one that shows up and um yeah. He he'll you can actually get zombies to heal you and stuff too after a certain point. I'm trying to get down to where this other gate is that I disassembled the first time. I think it's pretty close to this general area. There's some chopping wood. Let's see. It's gotta be it's gotta be real close. It's gotta be right here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, when I went through the other gate like this, there's just a whole bunch of zombies for sure. But, hey, we leveled up finally. Where am I at? I'm stuck in a fence. But, it, it, they kind of like funnel into a specific area. And the fact that I can swing through like a madman definitely helps me out a lot. Hey, zombie, how about you go down? There you go. I was about to say, are you going to show up to this little attack? Since they kind of show up in a pile, I can absolutely just... <laughs> Swing and swing and swing and just keep hitting all the things here makes it much easier to get into now I'm not a hundred percent certain that this isn't the direction we need to go to get to the missile thing Like if this valley leads around I don't think so Way to go moron you ran into me here go get them over there I'm gonna gather up some materials here while you're missing Yeah, I may have to take your little butt propeller away from you because you're kind of, no, don't hit me again. A, you knock me down a lot, and B, you're not really gathering, or you're not really doing a whole lot. Look at all this. See, it's so much easier to use the old thumb button to pick stuff up here. All right, well, let's see what we get in the old secret shit. Okay, well, maybe, no, get off of it. Open it up and see what we got here. Come on, something good? A zombie mask with pigtails? Zombie mask with pigtails? Oh, that sounds cool. What does that look like compared to the one we have now? I mean, it's the same thing, just with pigtails. Same armor, I guess. Well, we're definitely using that. Now we're a pretty zombie. Oh, look at us. I wish I could apply one to him. I wish I could put a zombie head on him. I mean, I realize he's already a zombie, but the other one looks way cuter. Or way cooler, I should say. Well, that's cool. I got a tennis ball colored head running around now with some pigtails. That's sweet. There's the bridge we repaired the first time. That was... That was the first uh, bridge we repaired, I believe. Let me see. Have I been down? No, we're going to keep going this way. This will take us to a whole new area. Ooh! Bush zombies! Surprise attacks! Come get some. I feel all BA right at the moment because I'm, you know, way stronger than these zombies are, so I can just absolutely beat their. Don't do it! Don't do it! 
you could actually create these hi these bushes and make your zombies hide in them. See, this is what it is. It's over by the base here. So, like, there's a latch. There's these little broken pneumatic tube things. I don't know what all they go to. But, um, oh, nice. Here's a bridge I can repair. So, I need some planks and some rope. Okay. Get three of those and three of those. That should do it. Repair. Confirm. And ta-da! We repaired a bridge. Now we can get over to this little area. But I want to open up the rest of this real quick just in case. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything else down in this general direction. Kind of just goes to a little dead end. That's something else too with the whole fog of war on the map is the way it kind of looks like it's outlined. The wild forest. Okay, so this is actually... Here, you can go, go get him. Way to go. Way to be, man. Way to be. We just... Hold on. Let me go get the busket. It's my busket. Give it to me. Thank you. All right, I'm going to let you do your thing over there real quick and just assume that I'm safe. I got a skill point here. And probably what I need to put it into is under better health. This is where I've been putting it into. Get that up a little bit more just to be able to take a little bit more damage before I get wrecked. Because I'm not quite sure if you saw last time. But we had a little bit of a death montage because, well, we ran into some areas that we were not strong enough to be in yet. Good job, good job. Where does this little secret path take us to? It's like a goat path. That sounds like a lion. Here, go get that one. Don't hit me. Okay, you kinda did. You kinda did a good job. I'll give you an E for effort. You have a, by default, you have like a three swing. Your combo's one, two, three, once you get it going here. But the challenge is that once you start this little combo, if you miss, you're facing the wrong direction, you miss all three times. You can't really stop and go the other direction. Another pylon gone. What else do we have over here? Is that another pylon? It is. All right, go get some. Oh, no, it's the trumpeters. Okay, y'all leave me no choice but to just go to town. I like this. I'm strong enough that I can take a couple hits and, um, you know, just kind of stand in the middle of them right now and just swing like crazy. I like that. Good job. Good job. Good job, me. I, I'm going to give you a little bit of credit, Kenny. I'll give you just a little bit of credit, but I'm pretty sure that was most of Dude! What the hell? There's not even anybody here to attack. You a jack wagon? To fly over here and hit me for no reason? Rude. All right, well, let's continue on. See where this opens up to anything? Some sage, that's all good to have. Sage and leaves you need to be able to make. You need all the leaves to make your armor. You need the sage to make bandages. So you definitely want to get all of that as much as possible. Uh, sage and shredded cloth and you're good to go. Okay, go, go get that one. Ooh, a new location, new logging area. We could set up a second house right over here, technically. Because we're in the foresty area, so technically we can build another home over here if we wanted to. Here, I'm going to make you attack this. I'll, I'll get all the zombies, because I'm way better at it than you are. Alright. Now... You're really not doing what I told you to. I gave you one job, man. Kenny. Gave you one job, dude. Oh, hell. Watch out. <laughs> you finally show up after the battle's over and come flying in like a cannonball. Or wrecking ball. Ooh, what do we have down here? See something on the, on the El Mapa. What is over here? Oh, well, that's just what. How do I get to this little right over, right over here? What is? Is this the broken pneumatic tube? I think that's what this little symbol is. I can't seem to get to it. Hang on. What are you? A log? Oh, okay. This is just a logging area. No wonder there's nothing there. I thought there was something there I could actually interact with and pick up with. No. Duh. It's a logging area. I was just talking about that. Yeah, we, you could technically, as long as you're in the forest, you can go under your build thing and you can build stuff wherever you want to. Um, beware it's forbidden to use building tab out of the forest. Okay, so, yeah, you can technically build certain things that you want to, but like an additional shelter, 
You can't build there. You can build a pylon to control some zombies so they gather up some woods if you want to. But things like your workshop, you can only have one. Your shelter, you can only have one. Your weapons workshop, you can only have one. So you can set up pylons over there, but you can't just build an entire new house. I was mistaken on that one. Yo! Mm -hmm. Zooming on over here, sir. Let's get them! I'm not sure if y'all are trumpeters. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so you have a little bit more health. Don't you dare. I'm not sure if you're... Hey! Come on, man. You gotta stop hitting me. No! Okay, God, I thought you were gonna hit me again. At least you hit something this time. All right, sir, tell you what, here, and here's what's going to have to happen. I'm taking away your butt fan, and I'm going to give you back your little spiky thingy. Okay. Wait, what's a flogger? Oh, it's a fogger. I thought I said flogger. I'm like, I want to make you flog some stuff. Um. Well, we kind of have to. Come here. 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 How do I. How do I ride you? Oh, I got to charge it up. Hi ho, silver away! Okay, so you, you don't swing very fast when I'm riding on here. Okay, alright, so you don't swing very fast at all when I'm riding your back. I guess that, hey, that kind of makes sense. But at least I can ride you like a, ride you like a pony. Wood cutting area, another one? Yeah, so you can set up all these pylons, and as long as you have the pylons, the zombies, you can tell them to gather wood. So you can have pylons set up all over the place and get all kinds of good stuff here. Oop, hang on, gotta get rid of this one before it summons in some more zombies. Here, get him. Don't you come over and hit me. Rude. Alright, you got that one? Sweet. If nothing else, we're getting a ton of supplies. And that's what I'm really in the need for here. Dang, this opens up a whole new world. And there's a whole area back here that we didn't open up either, like this general direction. I need to backtrack a little bit. I don't want to get so far from the area that I'm trying to actually open up that I completely miss. That I completely miss what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Let's go back this way just a smidge. Where did you... I thought I just got rid of you. Oh, maybe I came in from the other route. Oh, Okay. I got range of damage, too. It's not very good against you. Here. Ow! Stop hitting me. Let me use the bandage real quick. Here, get him. Now get him. Go get him. Go get him. Beat him. Beat him like he owes you money. Dude, seriously, you gotta stop shooting me, man. Quit it. You got him? Alright, now let's take out the pole. We don't need any more of these a-holes spawning in here. Okay, seriously. There we go. Plus, uh, getting rid of these little pylons here is how you get a lot of the other supplies you need, like uh, metal sheets and things like that you need. You have to destroy the pylons for. Now, one thing I haven't uh, completely nailed down yet, and for sure, I haven't seen yet, is I'm not sure if there's a difference at nighttime and daytime in this game as far as zombies go. Obviously, there's less light. Duh. But I mean, like, I haven't seen if there's more zombies. Damn you! Trumpeters. I, I don't know if the, uh, the hordes increase differently at night. I haven't seen any indicator that the game has more zombies during the nighttime than at daytime is basically what I'm trying to say. So I don't know, and if there's different kinds of zombies or any of that, it, if you figured that out, let me know. But I have not seen any lore to tell me that nighttime is the wrong time. Here, I'll get all this. I appreciate your help, but you're a little bit slow. Here, go get that one while I check out the map over. Ooh, hang on, we need to go this way. There's a thingy over here we haven't seen yet. Hello? Okay, here, go get that guy. Get some snappy snaps in here before he can little boy bugle. Uh-uh. Look at you did. You left one behind. Oh, I can't walk through that. I was like, why can't I move forward here? So this is like your message board. Sometimes you'll get these notifications in the game as part of the story saying, hey, you have a new message. And you go over there, and that's where you can 
uh, get whatever the message is and kind of like progresses the story along. That's where I got the information. Uh, one of those is where I got the information telling me I need to make the rocket that we are not strong enough to make. Ooh, nice. Pneumatic tube. That's what I was looking for right here so we can open up some more fast travel. Nice. Ta-da! So where did that put us here? Okay, so we still got this little area over here. We backtrack this way. We can make a bridge going back. Oh, we can repair this bridge over here. And then we have this area. This will this will help out a lot. So once we do open this up. But see what I am saying? Like the whole fog of war on the map. The way this is all shrouded here. And it looks like there's a whole lot of area. But it could be a whole lot of dead ends. It doesn't show you where the gaps are. All right, let's go back this way and see if we can't finish opening up what we had. Next to, I think it was Pedro. Is that Pedro? No, that's Bob. See, when I'm opening it up here and now it's showing this, you know, spot that we can't actually get to. Here, you get that one. Good job. By the way, you don't get as much XP if your zombie does the killing for you, obviously. Um, if you want to get all the XP, you got to do some of the killing yourself. So, while having an army of zombies to do your bidding is definitely great, you're not going to get as much experience if you don't at least help out a little bit. I say that as I'm running away from these idiots. Dude, don't knock me down. Stay down. Don't. Nope. Stop knocking me down. Did you actually die? I knocked you off into the trees. I can't reach you now. Here, I got him. Oh, yeah. All right, was there a pylon over here that they were protecting? Yes, there was. Here, I'll work on this. Okay, they have a little bit of a cooldown on their butt fans here, so they can't just go full blast either. That's nice. They seem like they have a little bit better aim than we do. That we, as in you, Kenny. But it's why I took it away from you. Go ahead and use another bandage. All right, let's see if we can get back up and around this direction. See if we can uh, open up this last little bit over here. I want to know what happens. Aw. Oh, hey, that's a... That's a small little army. This rifle, eh, it holds an okay amount of ammo. I mean, it uses... Hey, man. It uses the same kind of ammo as the other guns. No. So you, you don't have to have specialized ammo for these. Now, I haven't got further in to see if some of the other weapons have specialized armor or anything. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I think right now... Oh, nice. There's a little, another little message board here. It's almost gone. There we go. Come get some. Here, I'll come get... I'll come get the... Dang it! I lost my cursor again. I even... I'm gonna have to make it one size bigger just so I can find it over here. Come here. Finish them off already, would you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Make sure you gather all the stuff. In your inventory press... Oh, okay. Am I getting a little bit on the chunky side? Is that why you're telling me that? Um, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, but you can hold F and it'll scrap all the random things that you have multiples of. Like, I have a dozen different buckets. And so it'll randomly scrap everything back down into scrap. And the scrap is what you actually use to make a bunch of ammo. Oh, hang on. Uh, that's what I was going to do. There's zombie. I was going to trade you back for your little spiky armor. There you go. Thanks. Did he just say thanks? Was that his was he like thanks? <laughs> Alright, well, let's circle back around, kind of like trying to get the outline of the map opened up here. Let's see where this circles back around towards Oh hell. A mass grave, huh? Okay. Let's go to town. Okay, so y'all aren't very strong zombies. There's just a nasty Oh, nasty. What happened here? Looks like a whole bunch of zombies were killed and set on fire. That kind of looks like uh, Brittany right there. Our little cheerleader zombie. Hang on, I'm a little bit low on stamina. Can you give me a second? Give me just a second. There we go. Fortunately, your stamina regens fairly quickly if you just stand still. It goes, it depletes real fast when you're beating on zombies, of course, but it, re it replenishes fairly quickly, so it's not terrible. Uh, are you going to play a tune for me? 
I wonder what can be I wonder what can be gathered here. Like if you can set up some sort of farming thing on this one, kind of like with the whole forest, you know, you can a wood cutting site. I wonder if there's anything at the mass grave that you can do. That would be interesting. If there's some sort of resource you can get. Don't do it. You bunch of babuses. Put down your little butt trumpets and stop calling in all your buddies. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Here, you go get that one. I'm going to finish gathering some stuff. Alright, where are we? Oh, hang on, we got a couple more right here. I keep trying to kill the gooses because, you know, they're mean, but I have yet to actually hit one. They fly away really fast. They're definitely chickens. Alright, so we have the hunting area here, and this should take us back down to where I'm trying to get to. Okay, that works. We'll run through this area. But yeah, I'm kind of curious is... It, don't do it. Oh, you did it. Here, get him. If the uh, mass grave does anything useful. And go ahead and use another bandage real fast just to make sure the life stays all the way up. Another reason why I'm going on this adventure today is because I need to get as much XP as possible so I can level up as much as possible and get some more skill points and all that stuff. Don't do it. Damn you. Okay, quit it. I can definitely take more damage than I could before I got this armor on. There we go. Okay, are we heading in the right direction? Yes, we are. There should be a broken bridge right over here. And let me guess. I need, yep, okay, rope and a couple more planks. Four planks and five ropes. That should do it. Road repair. Oh, nice. I got the road engineer. Repair all the bridges. So I have opened up all the bridges now. Holy hell, it's a zombie chicken. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's not good. Actually, um, he's done a pretty good job against the gooses. I feel like I'm helping a little bit. What do we get from the goose? A whole bunch of scrap. Huh. What are you? Pedro's golden knife. Did he need that or can I have it? Where are you? Pedro's golden knife. Beautifully balanced throwing knife made of 24 karat gold and engraved with the name Pedro Ruiz Salvation is fancy. I wonder if I can take it back to him and he's like, you know, gracias, senor. Or something along those lines here. All right, how do I get... That's Pedro, so I'm a long ways away from him. And yeah, that's the other broken... So we've opened up the map over here. We just Let's see if we can get back over to Pedro and see if taking this knife to him does anything. Hey, Pedro, I got your knife, sir. Do you want it? Um, are you all right, man? You, you kind of just standing around, dude. Are you all right? I don't think you're all right. I'm going to guess that I can't do anything with his knife. That's unfortunate. Shoom! That's so much nicer. Now, I don't know how exactly that works, because there's no tube for me to pop out of, but at least I have it. Here's one other thing that I wish they would do in the game, is right now, I have yet to figure out a way to easily move crap from my inventory to the camp storage over here. So, there's not like a shift click, um, so basically it's like, right click, move to storage. All these things over here that I want to move, I can only do one at a time. Now, you can click and drag them over there, but it doesn't seem to have a way to do this very quickly so devs on the off chance that you happen to be watching this and you're interested in taking my suggestions give me a way to quickly very quickly um move crap over there you know what i mean Th that would just be kind of useful I, I would appreciate that if i could too all right, well, that's going to do it for me today we got some good exploring in there i had a pretty good time today let's move you over here also, you have different sorting options down here, but I don't know what they do. It's like, I think this one sorts between um, 
like common and I think it like sorts by colors. You have like the orange, which is this stuff, and you have the green, that stuff. That sorts by that. You can sort by weight, you can sort by quantity, and sort by whatever this is. I don't know what these sort buttons do. There's no context as to what they do over here, so I have no idea. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.